Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick little tutorial and updated brow routine on how I use the pretty new Anastasia Brow Wiz or Brow Wiz Brow Freeze Styling Wax. I got tons of questions and I've been actually been getting questions on how I've been doing my brows, what I've been doing, and how I've been doing them. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a quick little tutorial on how I use this. I've had this for a few months now and I finally got the technique down and I really like how my eyebrows are looking like now. I do have pretty thin, they're on the thinner side. They're not super thin, but they're thinner and they are pretty like sparse. I don't have a lot of like hair. So I'm also going to show you how to draw in these faux little hairs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. It's a quick one. So, uh, you know, grab your cafecito, grab your latte, your frappuccino, whatever it is, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, we are bare face, brows are clean, skin is thriving a little bit. I have a little bit of a breakout here, but I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need to get those fluffy, feathery, soft, not so harsh brows. First, you're going to need some sort of brow wax, brow gel. If you don't want to spend the money on the Anastasia one, I do recommend the, um, what's it called? It's this brow gel, or it's not a brow gel, but it's a hair gel. I will have it up here. Gosh, I have the worst memory, you guys. It's seriously not even funny how bad my memory is but um the brow free or i keep calling it brow freeze it's a hair freeze gel that a lot of people use for their brows that one works just as well i just don't like that it gets flaky on the brows which is why i don't really use it but anyways today's main attraction is the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze gel i actually really like this stuff i was a little on the fence the first time that i used it because it, it's something that you have to learn how to use because the product is a little bit not hard to work with but it's something new so you're gonna need some type of wax or something to keep your brow hair up if you want your brows to look very natural ish then i recommend to use a powder instead of a pencil that's what i've been using my favorite one has been the benefit browsings i like this one because it comes with a whole bunch of different shades so you can mix and match to whatever you like as you can see mine is very well loved and used you're also going to need some spoolie i am going to use this one that i have it's just a dirty old spoolie. You're gonna need a concealer to carve out the brows. If you want to carve them out, if you wanna let them be a little more natural, then don't carve them out. And I personally like to go in and just set the brows because I do have oily skin. And I have found that with the wax and the powder, it tends to move around if I don't set them. So I'm going to use this 24 hour brow setter from benefit. It's the best one that I've ever tried. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial So first things first as you can see my eyebrows are They're pretty thin. I consider my brows to be pretty thin. They're sparse like my hair doesn't grow past here and past here this one is like super skinny. I don't grow much hair under here versus this one and I feel like they're very like spaced out which is why i draw in faux hair and i'm also going to show you how to do that so this is the before let's take a look i'm going to grab my spoolie and i like to scrape a little bit of it this product you don't need too much but you need enough i would start off with a little bit if you're new at this just so you don't get too much and what i like to do is i like to start at the front of the brow so I go in, I push the hair up, and I just keep working it until I am satisfied with how it looks. I'm going to grab a little bit more, and then I'm going to start working on the middle. And this is perfect if you have unruly brows and they just want to do whatever they want. This really helps to tame them. That is pretty much it. That is how the brow should look like at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and do this brow. I use a lot of different shades for my brows. I'm first going to start 
like right here this is where I start and I take a mix of this one and this one I don't want my brows to be super harsh and dark so I take a little bit of the product and then I will go in and squeeze it and then I will start filling it in I will just show you because I can't talk and do it at the same time And then I always make sure that the brow connects to the end of the eye and that looks good to me. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna go back and bring it in. And as I am blending upwards, I'm almost creating like very soft, feathery faux hairs. I'm gonna go back with the brown and I'm going to start at the end of the tail of the brow. And again, I'm just filling in all these gaps that I have because I don't have full brows. Pinching it again and then going into the second shade and mixing it with the third. And here I'm going to start drawing in the faux hairs. And I just push it down. So I'm using it, instead of using it like this, I use it like this. And I actually use it both ways. And I just draw lines, honestly, that's all it is. It's just little lines. One brow is done. I'm going in with my brow setter. And I like to take, um, I guess it doesn't matter what side you take. And I don't come out the brows as you can see because with the wax it's kind of hard to comb them out honestly. And I'm just going to ensure that this doesn't go anywhere. There are both of the brows. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to carve the bottom of the brow. I'm gonna use my Cover FX G Medium 1 concealer. I recommend for you to use a concealer that you're going to either use underneath your eyes or a very light concealer to kind of like highlight this area. I'm just gonna use this one because it's the one that I'm gonna use today. Okay, I think the brows are looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just do my face makeup. Um, and come back and show you guys how the brows look with a full face. So I will be back in just one second to show you how the brows look with a full face on. And that is how the brows are looking now that I have a full face on. These lashes were giving me such a hard time, but I think the brows look very like natural, very feathery, very fluffy, very, I just, I don't know, I feel like they complement my face very well. And that is how I use the Anastasia brow freeze on my pretty thin and um, sparse brows. I feel like now they look a little bit thicker and they just look like they're so full when in reality, they're not. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. If you are into this like brow trend or if you're just like, that's not for me. Either way, sound off in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I love you all. Stay safe. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.